Hello, so today, okay, today I will be showing you how to make, um, they're called s'mores bars. They are gluten-free, egg-free, and nut-free, so if you have any allergies, maybe try making this. So, they're actually really easy to make. First, just turn your oven up to maybe, like, I would probably say seven or eight, so pretty high, because you are going to be needing to melt butter, and it kind of takes a little bit while. So, this part is pretty slow, it's just the melting of the butter, so I might skip past this part a little, I mean it's literally just warming up, and the butter is supposed to be melting, so you can see it's kind of starting to melt right here. And just any saucepan will work, but this is my first YouTube video, and yeah. My brother and I are actually having a contest to see, well, it was his idea, but he wants to see who can get to um, 100 subscribers first. It may take a while, but yeah. His channel is called Eric's Channel, so, but he does have a little bit of an advantage. He started like a month ago. But, yeah, so yeah, you can see that this, the butter is just melting, that's the very first step, and, oh, by the way, you will be needing, um, two tablespoons of butter, that's how much I'm using, um, the recipe actually calls for four tablespoons of butter, but I just cut the whole entire recipe in half, so, I'm just using two tablespoons, and I'm actually gonna... Um, wait a little while until the butter's completely melted. So I'll see you right now. Okay, so as you can see, this is all that's left of the butter. It is super small. But, so that's it for the butter. You can just kind of set aside your um, spoon for a little while. And then you're going to need... Um, two cups of marshmallows, and again, I just cut the recipe in half, so it would normally call for four tablespoons of butter and um, four cups of marshmallows, but I cut it in half because it seemed awfully a lot, so I'm just using two. And then you can dump them in, uh, maybe not all at the same time, I usually do about half and half, so that's about a cup. You can turn it up a little bit higher, maybe uh, to high or something. But, yeah. And then basically just do the same thing with the marshmallows. Oh, so, um, the butter thing, the plastic from the butter got stuck to the spoon. But basically just do the same thing with the marshmallows until they're all completely melted, as you did with the butter. So they're looking really goopy and kind of delicious. But... Yeah, also forgot to mention, my mom's letting me do this by myself, but it could be somewhat dangerous, so maybe have um, some someone helping you or supervising as you do it, <laughs> even though I'm doing it like, all by myself, but yeah, maybe just ask your parents or something before you do it, since this stuff is really hot, otherwise it literally doesn't really melt, so yeah. And then, you literally just gotta wait until all the marshmallows and butter kind of mold together. And this is only half of it, I still gotta do the other half. So then, um, I'm gonna cut the video again, and I'm gonna mix in all of them. And I'll see you right now. Okay, so I am back, and this is kind of what it's supposed to look like once it's all melted. Um, once it's all melted like this, I would just turn it down to probably like, maybe, oh I'm sorry, two or three, just so it doesn't scorch. But then you're gonna, this is all kind of a long process, so you're just gonna slowly add your Chex Mix, which is the next ingredient. You're gonna need three cups of this. Um, I used 
a cup and a half of corn checks and a cup and a half of vanilla checks just to kind of like make it a little bit more flavorful. So you're really just going to mix this in, but you don't add any more marshmallows because even though it doesn't look like that much, um, it's really just supposed to be enough to make it all stick together so it doesn't fall apart. So it's not as marshmallowy as, let's say, um, Rice Krispies, so I wouldn't add any more if I were you. And this might also take a while just because you kind of have to slowly put it all together just so it doesn't all break and stuff. Might turn it up a little bit higher. But yeah, I'm gonna pause the video again and then um, come back once it's all mixed in and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, I'm back and I got most of it mixed in. As you can see, it's kind of just a big blob of yummy looking um, gooeyness. So just take a pan, preferably a smaller one if you're gonna cut the recipe in half too. So I just have, I think this is like nine by nine or eight by eight or something. Um, so then you can take the pan and from now, um, I would turn this off because it's still pretty hot. Um, and then really just scoop it up or attempt to scoop it and then quickly drop it into here and oh my gosh they're all so spider webby but that's like the cool part of it the spoon is still hot so try not to touch that too much if you need to grab spoon or fork which what I it's what I usually end up having to do you can do that and just kind of um, break it off with a fork or something. But it hardens pretty quickly, so I would move fast. And then just really work on flattening it out. Okay, I'm back, and this is, for the most part, what it looks like. Kind of like regular Rice Krispies, except just with vanilla checks and corn checks. But just to add, like, this s'more type of thing to it because like the checks is the graham cracker the um the the the, the marshmallow is the marshmallow <laughs> and the chocolate is the chocolate so i would turn the oven just up to like one or two to two and a half maybe but really not very much just to uh, get the chocolate chips just a little drizzly because like barely anything just to get it just so it's a little easier to spread like even this would be good because they're melting pretty quickly so even this would be fine depends really how drizzly you want yours but I'm actually mm, pretty happy with that so I think actually I'm gonna turn it off right now so see just that little bit did quite a bit so I'm gonna switch hands right here and then, um, yeah, so that's what the chocolate chips look like. Like, most, mostly just like chocolate chips. You can use the same pan, it really doesn't matter. Um, fork is stuck on the, stuck on the paper again. So then you can really just scoop the chocolate chips up and drizzle, um, randomly. You can have little globs, it really depends how you want it, or um, I have seen some people who do this melt them um, all the way and then have them drizzled on the top. I kind of like them um, a little chunky, so I'll keep it like this. And But it really doesn't matter how you do it, as long as, long as you have chocolate on it. And, of course, um, it's perfectly fine to eat some chocolate chips while you're doing it. I actually just put one in my mouth. Um, yeah, and then, so continue doing this till it's done. Um, yeah. And then that's basically it. So when it's, it's done, it should look like, kind of like, um, I guess you could say like marble cake or something. I don't know if it, that, that's kind of what it looks like, Cause, right? Because, like, part of the cake is chocolate, part of it's vanilla, and it's all swirled together, right? 
But anyway, um, leave a comment in the comment section of what you want to see me do. Because I do have a Mindplex on Minecraft on the Xbox. I might do a um, Minecraft survival series. But tell me what you want to see me do. Like, I could, I'm probably going to do more baking um, things to show you how to bake more stuff. I'll probably do some experiments. Um, maybe I could do challenges, but I have a neighbor that I'll probably record with some of the time as well. So I could do stuff with her, maybe I could do a let's, uh, survival let's play with her. Um, but, yeah. So, you can just continue putting the chocolate on it, just just smother that chocolate all over, because chocolate is nice on most stuff. And this is probably what it's going to look like, I mean the lighting isn't the best um, right here, it's pretty dark, but um, believe me, in real life it looks good. So I would definitely try this recipe and leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more um, videos by me. I'll probably be doing um, more baking videos as I said, probably some experiments. If there's a really cool experiment that you want to see me do, um, I've done quite a few, but if there's one that you would like to see me do, leave it. Um, tell me in the comment section below if anyone actually watches this video. Um, make sure to leave a comment. I will be trying to reply to you as much as I can. But, yeah, this is what it what it'll, it'll look like. I still have a little bit of chocolate in the pan. I'll probably add that afterwards. But, this is mostly what it'll look like. And actually, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat this right now. Takes good. So that's kind of what the whole thing is going to taste like. Kind of like Rice Krispie type thing. And what you can do, I actually didn't have too much of the Rice Krispies stuff. But what you can do is put a whole layer of Rice Krispies here. And then you can put the chocolate in the middle with like chocolate chips or little Hershey bits would work too. And then put another layer on the top and then put chocolate and Hershey bits on the top of that as well. That would probably taste good as well. But yeah, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like on the video. Um, hit the notifications bell if, to get notified every single time I upload a video. I might be doing one tomorrow, but I probably won't. To start off with, probably won't be doing um, a video every single day. But, yeah. Make sure to also head over to Eric's channel. It's literally called Eric's channel. Because we are having a challenge, as I said again, to see who can get to 100 subscribers first. This is obviously my first video. So I'm at zero, but he is at eight so far. But yeah, see you in the next video, and hope you enjoyed this video, and make sure to try out this recipe for yourself. And here is the finished product once again. I don't know what happened with the camera, actually, to be honest. But, <laughs> okay, I'll fix that. Um, see you in the next video. Bye.